rated teen. Hello, my name is Brad Wardell. I'm the executive producer of Demigod here at Stardock. And Demigod is Gas Power Games' newest PC strategy slash RPG hybrid in which you play a powerful being known as a demigod in, the, in an effort to ascend to godhood by defeating rival demigods. What I'm going to show you today is a video demo done with minimal editing and full amateurish flair by a techie. Okay, here we are at Demigod Beta 3B. One of the last ones, I'm going to be showing you the Torchbearer today. Torchbearer has a really sad history. Uh, he was basically a magical boy, all happy and such, but his dad knew he wasn't really his son, and so he uh, set him on fire, and so uh, and then left him out to freeze in the snow, his burning, his burnt carcass, and he became this being of fire and ice, and of course he killed his father, or his stepfather. And uh, so let's put some of these bad guys in here. Everlasting. For the glory of the Nimoth King. I'm so, set up a team here. They uh, won't know what hit him. Okay. And we begin. Fight. Now, when I play as a torchbearer. I'm going to do two things. I don't know if most people do this, but I'm going to buy the Boots of Speed. They make me faster. And then I'm going to use my favor item, which is a Swift Anklet. And that makes me go pretty fast. So I'm going to run over here and start capture one of the flags, because it'll give me artifact and portals, which is, I think, very key. So there, there he goes with my buddies here. A cold wind blows. I just love the graphics on this. And keep in mind, I'm recording, so this is like your worst case scenario performance wise with this box. Of course, I have a really good box. So, by capturing this, I get this portal, which will send uh, guys my way, and I can capture, I can uh, buy some items here. Which I'm too poor. So off I go. And I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to give my guy a uh, deep freeze. Now, deep freeze causes a lot of people don't like deep freeze, so I'm going to have to we're going to have to look into it, figure out if there's legitimate issues with that power or what. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I love it. Oh, another torch bear. Time to die. So I'm currently level two, about to go level three, but I need to get I need to be able to take out some of these towers. So here I go. So the object on this one I'm playing conquest, which means I need to destroy that. And to do that, I need to take out the defenses first. Torchbearer keeps uh, being one of the most popular characters with other players. I think it's because he has both a fire mode and an ice mode. I tend to like the ice mode. Cross Nova is really cool. Watch this. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough uh, mana. Uh oh. I better run. Run! See, I'm poisoned. I'm gonna probably die here. Ah. One of the coolest features I think of Demigod is the Citadel upgrade. So, capturing flags allows you to move up in your war rank. The war rank determines what abilities are even available to you. And so, once you are not abilities, but Citadel upgrades, then you can spend money on them. Which is tough, because if you're spending it on your Citadel, which helps your entire team, you can't spend them on yourself. 
which I think is one of the coolest uh, features, is that you're making a sacrifice for, in the name of your team. But it also means you don't have to spend a lot of time building building a building to get the prerequisites to build another building to build a special unit, but rather it's actually the Citadel, so it's a, it's a pretty nice effect. Ah, uh, yes, another reason why the, he's so good is that he has fire and ice modes. As you can see, the AI still needs some love, though. See how the AI is just stuck there? So here we are showing off. This is why it's a beta. I'm going to get both of you. See, he's just sitting there taking it. He should be running away. But I have my equal opportunity uh, player, and I want to. I definitely want my power. So I'm going to switch back to ice mode here. There we go. Ooh, I am just getting, I am getting tougher and tougher. One of the things about the AI that we're going to be doing is that the AI is going to be on the ladder. So he'll actually have a skill rating, so he should be able to see how good versus human players the AI is. So he'll have his own ELO rating or skill rating or whatever we end up calling it. Our side has won. And as you can see here, you get favor points. These favor points go into your record, which allow you to upgrade your demigod in pre-game. It gives you little bits of bonuses. Now, multiplayer players can choose whether to have this kind of stuff or not, because some players may want to be totally even. But as you play further and further along, if you've been playing the game for months, let's say, you might want, want to go through the early stages of, of build-up. And so these, skill, these favor points allow you to purchase items that kind of give you a leg up right away, uh, optionally. So let's see, I had six kills, two deaths, 24,000 damage. Not too bad. AI seems to have really improved overall. But you saw a case earlier in the video where the computer AI was just sitting there taking a beating, which as a player, since it wasn't on my team, uh, is good. But if I was playing with other people and I had an AI, a teammate that was just sitting there taking a beating, that would not be ideal. So anyways, that was the Torchbearer, the, the demigod of fire and ice. He is incredibly powerful. And he is one of the eight demigods that comes with the uh, upcoming PC strategy slash RPG hybrid this spring, April 15th. Bye-bye for now.